Mr. Khan! Mr. Khan! Speak. Uh, I, I, I have an update on the stone, sir. It's been found? Um, not exactly, sir. Uh, but you'll be happy to know we located our pilot safe and... Where is the stone? Uh, it's been st 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 stolen. By whom? Air p p pilots. I've spent years building Khan Industries into the biggest corporation in the world. And I've discovered that business is like a jungle. You see, there are the eaters, <laughs> and there are the eatens. Find those pirates. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> bon appetit. Uh, so you see, Mr. Khan, sir, if we could get the stone back, what might it be worth to you? Well, Mr. Balloon. Uh, Baloo. Yeah, that stone, as you call it, is an electrical alloy developed by my scientists. So that's why it zapped me. I'll make it worth your while to return it. What would you say to a hundred? Only a lousy hundred bucks? A hundred thousand lousy bucks. Dollars? Dollars? Sit tight, Sheer baby. We'll be back before you can say sea duck. What is with you? You haven't said three words the whole flight home. Baloo! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Ah, so glad you could stop by. There are rules about this sort of thing, you know. I make my own rules. Where's the stone? Look, before we tell you anything, what is this stone everybody keeps talking about? Fair enough, Doctor. <clears throat> the stone is actually a sub-electron amplifier, which means it can create unlimited amounts of electricity, enough to run all of Mr. Khan's businesses. But we were only able to create one stone, and it... Thank you, Doctor. Now, where is it? Um, we don't have it. Don Karnash does. I am displeased, Baloo. You have let me down. Don't tell me about being let down, mister, cause I'm an expert. You let someone get close to you and they stab you in the back. Well, I'm sick of being used. And I'm sick of working for you. And I'm sick of your stupid stone. So y'all just leave me alone. Hmm. A very emotional man. You're all dismissed. Uh, but Mr. Khan... Good day. Mr. Khan, sir, I just figured it out. In a moment, Doctor. Yes, but this is important. Ow! It had better be. Mm -mm. I've been studying a list of what the pirates stole from you over the last week. The point, Doctor? Well, it's possible that they have built a machine that can focus the energy of the stone. And? Well, basically, Don Carnage could now have in his possession a lightning gun. Absurd. There, see? Oh, I told you. Yes, I believe you. Thousands wouldn't. Get me the airfield. We're in a tailspin! I can't hold her steady! Just give me a few more seconds, baby. A 
pity. That was a pilot to be reckoned with. Scramble the planes. Stop! Stop! You can't come in here! Mr. Khan sees no one! He'll see me! No yes man is gonna tell me no! It's all right. Let Miss Cunningham speak her piece. First of all, may I have a glass of water? It's a long walk across your office. I bet you're here about the high gas prices. Why, yes. Uh, uh, Mr. Khan! <laughs> Another oil tanker's been hijacked and disappeared, sir. Oh, pirates again? <laughs> Afraid so, sir. Oh, that Don Carnage. He's making it impossible for the public. Prices will have to go higher. Yes, but high prices make it difficult for my business. How am I supposed to come up with extra money? Oh, I don't know. It's always the little guy who suffers most. I suppose I could check my sofa for loose change. Sorry if I bothered you, Mr. Khan. No, no, I'm sorry, dear. Deliver a telegram to Don Carnage congratulating him on the successful hijacks. Ah, such a crude individual. A mindless menial, Mr. Khan. The tests are complete. My machine is perfect. Shall I put you down for, say, a dozen auto aviators? I haven't said I'd buy anything. Baloo may be correct. Perhaps your robot can't handle all situations. Are you going to believe that barnstormer? Calm yourself, Professor. If there were a test against a real pilot and the auto aviator won, I might consider buying, say, a thousand of your mechanical men. A thousand? Think about it. But, but... Good evening, Professor. You may instruct your robot to change course and evade the pirates. Turn right. Come to course 140. Deviation from flight plan is unacceptable. This is your inventor speaking. Turn right. Deviation from flight plan is unacceptable. Problems, Professor? Yeah, well, actually, I wasn't expecting to deal with pirates. A perfect pilot must handle any situation. You told me your tin men were perfect. But what do you want me to do? I suggest you call for help. Help! Oh, sit down. Uh, whoever's listening, your assistance will be handsomely rewarded. In a few moments, we will be attacked by pirates near Mount Ruzika. This is your inventor speaking. Take evasive... Deviation from flight plan is unacceptable. I am losing patience, Professor. The pirates! We're doomed! Hiya, boys! How's it going? Ah, Baloo. We've hit a bit of a snag with the professor's contraption. Any suggestion? Got a bottle of soda pop? Barbarian! Quiet, professor. Let a real pilot handle this. That was more than adequate. Thanks, Connie. You ought to see me when I'm really adequate. Yes, I can imagine. If you'll excuse me a moment. You've disappointed me, Professor. Worse, you have deceived me. But I have a solution. You, you do? You give me back all my money, and I'll give you back all your cretinous contraptions. Tell me the truth now. How does that sound to you? Sounds fair! Sounds fair! Shipping report. Yes, Mr. Khan. Your new tanker will be ready to ship 100,000 barrels of crude oil by the end of the week. Move it up to Wednesday. 
as you wish. Next. Uh, yes, sir. That shipment of imported spices will be in your grocery stores by morning. Are we the only stores offering nutmeg? Uh, why, yes, sir. Excellent. Raise the price 25 cents a tin. But, sir, won't the consumers be upset over the... Yes, but they'll pay anyway. Next, the energy report. Dead Kims. <laughs> oh, um, <clears throat> uh, all coal burning plants are up uh, 14%. 3 a.m. Doesn't Mr. Khan ever sleep? Ever heard of vampires? Is presently running at half capacity and should be ready for a full test before the end of the month. Sir, you asked us to alert you when the plane was nearing the danger zone. Yes, indeed. Proceed, Commander. Yesterday we lost one of our transport planes on a secret cargo route. The Master Run. Did it crash? No. It vanished. One moment, the pilot was on the radio. The next, he was gone. Tonight, another plane is making the run. Only this time, we have one of our gunships cruising the area. Con Tower, calling gunship. Come in. Roger. Captain Hotspur here. Over. Have you picked up the plane? Affirmative, sir. It flew over ten minutes ago and we're tracking it. I'll relay the signal to your office. As you know, this system is still new and the plane's location is imprecise. Now watch. She's disappeared! What? Pirates? They haven't been seen in this area for weeks. Could it be magnetic disturbance? Uh, instrument failure. Quite frankly, we're completely baffled. So, gentlemen, we have a mystery on our hands. I want to know exactly what's happening and where. Why not just send out another plane? Negative. I know my pilots, and no one will volunteer for a jinx run. Hmm. Well, in that case, we need to find a patsy, a chump, a flying fool. Ah, Baloo, a decided pleasure. Uh, ditto. Baloo. I want to add my thanks to those of the community. Hey, I can see the sea duck from here. Yes, I know. You showed tremendous nerve flying under adverse conditions. Oh, well, actually... For such bravery, I hereby present you with this gold trophy, proclaiming you the best pilot in the world. Me? Come, come. You more than deserve it. Gee, <laughs> maybe I do. And because you are the best, I also have a special job for you. If you can handle it. If I can handle it? <laughs> of course I can! Uh, what is it? The Master Run. It's an ultra-secret cargo route. And it's very demanding. Are you up to it? Hey, you're talking to the best pilot in the world, right? <laughs> Excellent. Uh, where do you get off sending me on a mission like that? I could have been killed. Pirates, guns, bombs, and what about my plane? You, you, you... I believe this should adequately show my appreciation. Uh, <laughs> yes, sir. Good day, then. On the other hand, you have been quite a nuisance. I think I'll blow off the club anyway. <laughs> no, no! No boom boom? Uh, uh, Mr. Khan, uh, sir, uh, uh, Kel, surprise. <laughs> what happened to my pilots? They did it, sir. Just the two of them? The kid helped. I'm impressed. Explain yourself, Benson. I uh, acquired this money-making island for you, sir. No. You forged my name, misused employees, broke a verbal deal, 
and your suit is not up to standard. All done with your best interest in mind, Mr. Khan. In my best interest, Benson, you are terminated. D -d 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 terminated? I apologize for young Benson's excess zeal. Hey, Connie, nothing we couldn't handle. Fire me? Humiliate me? Laugh at me? I'll show them. Con? Louis? Get out here! Pay attention, you toads. Tonight, Douglas Benson gets the last laugh. Not again. Doc! Too late! What happened? I sort of moved the dynamite. Bravo. I am not amused. I'm not even. I am still not amused. <sighs> this will teach me to let my employees go home after a mere 16 hour workday. Yes? Hello? I need to speak to somebody right away. It's a matter of life and death for Mr. Khan. Is that so? The miners in his Boomstone Silver Mine have snatched him. Really? Somehow I find that hard to believe. Well, I suppose I should investigate my untimely abduction. <laughs> I thought you was down with the miners. So I've been told. Hey, boss, maybe the one we got down there ain't the Oh, one... Mr. Khan, what a surprise. We were just about to call you to let you know about some problems we've been having with an imposter. I would very much enjoy meeting myself. Can you arrange it? How nice of you all to drop by. There he is, Mr. Khan, the imposter, the low-down varmint who was trying to steal your mine. You mistook him for me. And uh, who are these? We mine your Yorganium. Yorganium? How interesting. Why haven't I heard about this? Uh, well, yeah, you see, run! In gratitude for uncovering this subterfuge, I suppose I can reimburse you for your kumquats. Well, that's real decent of you, Con, and I promise I won't tell a soul. So, you never told the sheriff to mistreat the miners? My dear, I desire only money and power. Unpresentable employees provide me with neither. Hey, do you know who you are? You're gone. You saved my life, Mr. Babaloo. Uh, that's Baloo. Yes, I owe you everything. At this moment, Khan Industries is worth $3.7 billion. Hmm, my watch must be running a few thousand slow. <laughs> you may have whatever you want. Simply name it. Oh, you don't owe me a thing. Perhaps. But my motto is always repay your debts and never break a deal. Well, don't want much. Maybe a refrigerator and... Uh, and? Well, I don't know. Uh, some sodas? Oh, and, and a bottle opener would be nice. I can't really say. Take all the time you need. Drop by my office when you've decided. Only one stipulation. You must keep our arrangement a secret. I may be indebted, but I don't want it known to everyone. <clears throat> Hello? I thought you'd be here ten minutes ago. Sit. I, I would have been here earlier, but I had trouble with my tie. How dreadfully uninteresting. I was expecting you fifteen minutes ago. I gotta ask you another favor. And this is the last one, correct? I just want everything the way it was. Here you are. What's this? Everything back to the way it was. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I guess I should be on my way. Yes, a wise decision. He didn't suspect a thing. Thought we were real kidnappers. Yeah, we taught him a lesson he'll never forget. But why didn't we just bump him off? 
I always repay my debts, and I never go back on a deal. And this one is concluded ten minutes ahead of schedule. Now, shall we move on to more important matters?